My name is Galit Schwartz, and I am starting a coffee shop as a social enterprise. I'm going to be calling it Power Cafe, and it's all about empowering people. The main target community is people with disabilities. That really feels to me like the next stage of social change in our society. Uh, people with disabilities used to be marginalized completely, used to live in institutions, not seen, not heard. Then we passed the Americans with Disabilities Act, and people started seeing people with disabilities uh, in society. And we're right now in that next stage where people really have a chance to become fully integrated in society and actually have equality. I actually have been volunteering with children with Down syndrome for the past several years. Um, and that's how I became familiar with the issues that are facing the disability community. And I learned that we are right now in that wave of social change where children are actually getting really good resources in school. There's a lot of accommodations uh, for from early intervention straight through high school. Uh, and it's just amazing the kinds of opportunities that children do in fact have in our society today. And then they grow up and the system dumps them into the real world with nothing. Um, and one of the, kind of the intermediate stages after institutionalization was what's called uh, sheltered workshops, which was kind of workplaces, except they would get paid pennies to the dollar. And it's kind of filled a gap. But right now, several states, including Massachusetts, have made this illegal. They see it as exploitative. And they've declared that people with disabilities are just um, justified in getting minimum wage just like everybody else. The same work conditions that apply to anybody else, people with disabilities deserve to have as well. And that has created a new gap because people still have prejudice and uh, stereotypes. And now, once again, many people with disabilities find themselves unemployed, find themselves in adult daycare situations. Where Power Cafe comes in is we're going to be staffed entirely by people with disabilities, uh, working with existing workforce development organizations such as Best Buddies and Triangle Inc. and um, Transitions to Work, uh, different organizations that are already in place trying to match people with disabilities with the mainstream workforce. And a coffee shop is a social place where you interact with the people who are serving you. And seeing a place that is run completely by people that you're used to thinking of as less than, I see as extremely empowering for both the staff and the clientele to meet each other in that, um, in that context. Um, I'm looking at different locations right now, uh, including in Cambridge, but also in Brookline and the surrounding communities. The step that I'm in right now is to find a location. Find a location, create it. Uh, I have the people lined up right now, and actually from Triangle, uh, because Triangle has a collaboration with Bunker Hill Community College, uh, where they uh, place their clients in a culinary arts program. And they just graduated a cohort that are serve safe certified, and so they know the work in the, uh, in the kitchen, they're excited to work in a restaurant. I've also been talking with these other organizations where it's more of an ongoing basis of placing people in an individual situation, possibly with a work coach.